We've all seen the pharmaceutical commercial of the guy riding down the beach on the horse with what must be his second wife, and they talk about how when he gets up in the middle of the night, he just can't go to the bathroom. That's what's going on here, except it's a fridge. So in the case of this fridge, we can get ice out of it just fine, but when we go over to water, nothing's coming out. And we're gonna show you what's going wrong here, and we're gonna show you how to fix it. So if you can see up there the little tube, the little tube is what the water comes out of. And if you look really closely, you can see ice has built up in that tube because the water's coming in through the freezer. And to cure that problem, we're gonna use the refrigerator enema, or as they call it, the ice surrenderer, to get that ice out of the line. Now there's a good chance here we're gonna be making something of a mess. So we're gonna throw some towels down in front of the fridge. It's also a good idea to stuff a towel right in here to catch any of the extra water that comes out. So now we're gonna take our refrigerator enema here and I've got a link for it in the description below. You can buy these for just a couple bucks, a lot cheaper than calling a handyman out. And we're gonna fill it up with water and we've microwaved this water to get it good and hot. So we've got it nice and full of hot water. That's gonna help melt all that ice. And now we're gonna take our hose to our fridge enema and put it up inside the water line as far as it'll go. And once it can't go anymore, start injecting hot water into the line and feed it. It'll start melting that ice inside there. And just keep repeating that until the line is cleared out. And there we go, sweet, sweet relief. Now some other people here on YouTube will recommend using a hair dryer or a heat gun to get up in here, but you gotta remember this is all plastic and that's all gonna melt and warp and do weird things. This is the safest way to clear it out just for a couple of bucks. You're still gonna save a bunch of money over calling in a handyman to fix this for you. So if this video helped you out at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a great big thumbs up, and let me know down in the description what kind of projects you'd like to see around the house.